people might have come to the restaurant because they liked the ambiance of the, of the nice tablecloths and the waiters and waitresses all wearing tuxes. But that is not ultimately what they came for. What they wanted, what would nourish them, what would cause them to leave satisfied was what I served them, what I brought to the table. So we have this, this misunderstanding that on the day we get married, we think that we just got this huge, wonderful, beautiful box that is full of all types of incredible things. You know, here's a lifelong companion, and here's passion and intimacy and a parenting partner, and we're going to have so much fun, and this is going to be so cool, and look at this box, we just got to In reality, on the day you get married, that box is empty. And the, the only beauty I got on my wedding day, the only beautiful package that I received on my wedding day was my beautiful wife. But the box itself is empty. And ultimately what is in that package is what I put into it. And I put things into that box. I serve it. We have research that proves that every, not only have God saying what I will say tonight is true. We have research that shows that happy couples all do certain things. One of the things that we know happy couples do is they choose to take a servanthood attitude in marriage. They don't keep score. They, 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 they don't wait till their mate gets up to go to the refrigerator and say, oh, while you're there, will you bring me something? They get up and go to the refrigerator and say, hey, honey, can I give you something? It's the little thing, the making coffee, the bringing coffee, the, uh, honey, I'm on the way home, can I stop at the store and get anything? It, it, it's the doing the things that you know make your spouse's life easier. Now, obviously there's a within reason there. You know, if I say, honey, you're going to make my life easier. We ate a group Chris every night. I don't think the budget could afford that. <laughs> but that's usually not our issue. I mean, the question for you isn't what, what we do in our marriage. The question is, what do you do? What do you know that you could go do tonight? And in the morning, as an act of service, that your spouse would appreciate. You know, and when I every once in a while struggle with thinking, well, why should I do that? I'm reminded of that little verse where Jesus says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. God Himself sent His Son down here, and God's Son did not come to this earth to be served, but to serve. So when I'm sitting there and wondering about should I put my wife's needs ahead of my own or should I complain about this or gripe about that or, or I don't really want to do that, that person kind of smacks you in the head and goes, you know what? If I'm going to follow Jesus' example, I need to serve. And a few weeks ago, my wife Amy and I were in, in this mode where I could just tell we were irritating each other. <laughs> No, oh, really, you've been there. You just got to get on each other's nerves a little bit. And I came downstairs, and the, and the kitchen hadn't been uh, cleaned up yet. And I'm sitting there thinking, now I know that she would be happy if I cleaned up the kitchen. <laughs> I had a conversation with my wife. I don't want to clean up the kitchen. Why not? Because I don't want to clean up the kitchen. And there we're facing our biggest problem, at least the biggest problem in my marriage. The biggest problem in my marriage. It is me. Because I get to those situations where I just don't want to do that. I cleaned it up. Thank you very much. Uh, and, but, oh, but I, I had to debate with myself for a minute. Just, okay. But that, that's what it's doing. It. It's not doing it when we feel like doing it. It's doing it because it is the right thing to do. And the more we do that and the more we don't keep score with that, the happier we become. Now, I know there are some uh, ladies in the audience that feel like all they do is serve when it comes to their family. And I would bet when I talk to your husband, he would feel that it's that way with what he may do outside the home. And I know there are those of you in here, there are both of you work outside the home, and so, so it's a constant struggle inside the home. Who does what? This isn't about having to do something else because it's on my to-do list. It's doing something else because it's how we show up. It's doing something else because it is the right thing to do. I throw my scorecard away. 
Now, it was the great comedian of yesteryear, Danny Thomas, who said, any man that thinks marriage is a 50-50 proposition doesn't understand women or fractions. <laughs> I think he's right. If you want an incredible marriage, the kind of marriage that God wants you to have, then the fifth key 